And welcome back, everybody. Looking at our six-hour time lapse, a few clouds this morning. Otherwise, plenty of sunshine as we've been getting through our day here. Like I said, some of those clouds have been pushing through, but we're not going to be expecting a whole lot going on as we continue through our day. Right now, we're already sitting with 83 degrees in San Angelo. Humidity is down to 58%, and winds are a bit breezy from the south at about 15 miles an hour. Temperatures around the rest of the region here, we got a lot of low 80s to kick off our afternoon, getting into the mid 80s around Junction and Mason at this time and those humidity levels are slightly lower than what we've had the last couple of days. We've got a lot of 50s and 60s, even 40s down in Ozona at this time. To, like I said, to kick off our afternoon, we still have that enhanced risk of severe weather going on for portions of the upper Midwest, kind of getting into Wisconsin and the Great Lakes area. But for the Concho Valley, don't have a whole lot going on. We do have just a sliver of our region that's going to be thinning in the non-severe risk. We could see some spotty showers in those areas as we get into later this afternoon. Now, we do have some showers and storms that are lining up along the coastline and in the southern portion of the state. And as we get into later this afternoon. Like I said, we'll have some of those showers coming through, pushing through Mason and in McCulloch County, but otherwise we're not going to be experiencing a whole lot of activity as we go through our day. We will continue to see plenty of sunshine and then mostly sunny skies as we continue through the afternoon hours. We're looking at those winds consistent from the south, 10 to 15 miles per hour. Highs are looking to be low 90s across the Contro Valley, so it's going to be very similar to what we had yesterday. Now, tonight we're dropping to upper 60s to low 70s. We'll have mostly clear skies as we go overnight into tomorrow. We are expecting highs to be slightly warmer. We're looking at mid 90s for a majority of the region. We're going to have a mix of sun and clouds as we continue getting into our Thursday here. So we could see some of those spotty showers, like I said, just to the north of Brady and around Mason. But otherwise, we are going to continue continue to see, like I said, that mix of sun and clouds. And then heading into Friday, we'll have more clouds coming in from the northwest. That's going to give us a bit of an interesting evening, especially Friday. We're going to see possible spotty showers around the region. Saturday and Sunday looking to be in the upper 90s for highs. And then as we get into next week, we're looking at showers starting late Monday and pushing over into Tuesday with the cold front that's moving through the region. So we're going to be dropping our temperatures about 10 to 15 degrees for a high, and we all know that that could change as it gets closer to that day, so we're going to continue to keep an eye on things as it gets closer. You're watching KLST News at Noon. We'll be right back after this.